Welcome to a magical world. You're enormous bugs! Fascinating, isn't it? Where courage can lead to adventure. He's gonna cut me in half! <laughs> and hope is the path to a place called home. We have made it! What a wonderful son! From the director of The Nightmare Before Christmas comes a new family adventure from Walt Disney Pictures. James and the Giant Peach. For me, seeing what you perceive as real objects coming to life is still really impressive. Be Mark. For James and the Giant Peach, director Selleck guided an award-winning team of animators, illustrators, set designers, and camera operators on 22 sound stages over a three-year production schedule, all working to push the artistic limits of stop-motion animation. They're puppets. They're uh, repositionable and they just stay in the pose you put them in until you put them in another one. So in each frame, we take the puppet and make a small movement, take the frame, move it again, and once you've done that 24 times, you have one second of film. Sometimes you have multiple characters and with each character there's multiple joints, so there's a lot of things to keep track of. To complete just one minute of finished film takes an entire week of animating. Put them up! Come on! Give me your best shot! Oh, good shot! And to heighten the fantasy of stop motion, Selleck decided to include live action film as well. Action! I felt that why not save that automatic jolt of magic you, you get from stop motion for when the magic is released. For me, it was best personified by sticking to the stop motion for the miracle world, then mixing it at the end. Rolling! Don't be safe! Quiet, set! Okay, action! How dare you speak to us like that? Ah! Hey, you old biddies! Bugs! Giant bugs! The cast of James and the Giant Peach is a world-class ensemble of talent, including Academy Award winners Richard Dreyfuss and Susan Sarandon, Jane Leaves from TV's hit show, Frasier, and British comedic actors Simon Callow, David Thewlis, Miriam Margulies, Joanna Lumley from Absolutely Fabulous, and Paul Terry as James. That's lovely. Say again? Together, they breathe life into the story of a young boy's fantastic adventures with some unusual friends aboard a magic giant peach. We are in the middle of the, how do you say, the big puddle. The film really empowers you. I mean, I think it's great for kids to know that they can figure things out and they make the difference and that your fears won't have any power unless you give it to them. Hooligans! Ruffians! James and the Giant Peach happened to be my little sister's favorite book growing up and I sort of got into it and used to read it to her all the time so you know when I was asked to do this it was quite a thrill. Shake your flooming tail feathers! The story of James and the Giant Peach has been a favorite of children all over the world since it was first published in 1961 by British writer Roald Dahl, author of the classic Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What do we do? I think that there's something about Roald Dahl that will always be timeless with kids. It's about kids solving problems. It's about them overcoming odds with a lot of humor, with a lot of invention. I got him! She goes away! He's gifting! By doing with stop motion, you just get that extra dimension to it that I think will really satisfy anybody who loves the book. Add the songs of Grammy award-winning composer Randy Newman and you have a lyrical journey into a bizarre new world. Holy shipwreck! Where anything can happen. And does. <laughs> James and the Giant Peach.